Christina, uh, why yeah. are you interested in horses and the horse industry? Because you're born with, uh, with it in your DNA to like horses. On a real reason, uh, I had issues when I was 13, 14, 15, 16 in school, which led me into homeschooling. I had severe self-esteem and depression issues. And my therapist was a horse that got me out of it. And ever since that, there's no, there hasn't been any looking back on challenges in my life. Which is why I owe what I am to horses. If I'm standing, it's because of horses. Rather than that, I've always loved horses since the time I remember when I was seven. That's the latest I remember. I don't remember if I was three or something when I last liked them. But when I was seven, my father put me on a horse. And ever since that, I've loved them. How did you hear about equine Guelph? So when I moved to Canada about two years ago, I needed some kind of a horse connection to keep me sane. So I was talking to my professor who that I wanted to do my project around horses for my project management diploma. And he recommended uh, filling out an application with the University of Guelph. So I filled out an application with the OVC, which led Equimania into getting in touch with me. And that's how I started volunteering with Equine Guelph. And then I went to the Equimania and I found people who had thoughts exactly like mine with horses. And ever since that, I love volunteering and working with Equine Guelph. How did you feel about the opportunity to take the first aid course offered by Equine Guelph as, as a result of your volunteering hours? Oh, I felt rewarded because doing a course like that, it's knowledge for a lifetime and knowledge that you get to learn. It's something every horse owner needs to know. It was a, it was an amazing experience. We never had resources that provided first aid courses for uh, horse owners in India. At least we weren't made aware of them or they always seemed too out of reach for us to actually go ahead and do it. So there was a lot of trial and error, which was not always in the welfare of the horse. And what were your favorite aspects or uh, what did you get out of that course? Oh, the gut presentation. It's still with me. <laughs> Gail's gut presentation was so good. And the health check, to actually perform a health check on a live horse as a part of your assignment, I learned a lot doing that. It's not that easy to find the heartbeat in the first go, but it's there. <laughs> you need to keep looking for it. And then to know the exact uh, uh, firmness or how tight the horse bandage needs to be and learn from vets who practiced it. Uh, to basically have evidence-based knowledge to prove your knowledge against as a quality standard. That's what I really, really liked about the course. How did you apply what you learned in the Equine Guelph courses? Uh, I passed on the knowledge to my cousins, who passed it on further to the grooms. Uh, the state where I come from, we have uh, we have about five horse farms. That's it. Other than the race course, which is gigantic, and most of the grooms who come there to take care of the horses have no idea. They are not extremely literate. So to pass the knowledge on to them on what to do in emergencies was a very was the best thing we could do. It was a little challenging, but it was needed. Now what are your goals or your next equine endeavors? Uh, as a long term, my goal has always been the same thing. I want to get into equine assisted mental health to be able to provide equine assisted psychotherapy or equine assisted counseling to help out children or trauma victims who might need it. I know how much that benefited me and that's one thing I want to do to give back to society, to give back to the horse, to shed light on how magnificent and useful they are. More than just making you money at the races, more than they are useful. I mean, they are challenging. They are tiring. And it's my way. I want to give back to my therapist. I would say that.
that's great that we could be part of that journey. And would you recommend equine golf courses to anyone else? Yes, 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 yes. I, it's been extremely useful. The material, the evidence-based material mostly, is great to have a quality and a quality to measure your own knowledge against, to expand your knowledge base. And not to mention the network you get to build through equine wealth courses and equine wealth with other subject matter experts who might be going through the same things you might be going through or who have already gone, gone through them to help you out in case you face a new situation. Because there are few horse people in the world and it's good to be connected.